In this video, we're going to talk about four things a man should never say to a woman. Man, I, you just like my old lady. All right, y'all. In this video, we're going to be discussing <laughs> four things a man should never say to a woman. Four things a man should never say to a woman. Now, it's amazing as I was reading uh, the research from Dr. Gottman that really blew my mind. Mm -hmm. Men have a disproportional influence on the success or failure of a relationship. By their words. Say it again. Men have a disproportional. Men have a larger influence on the success or failure of the relationship based on their words. Now that mm -hmm. really hit me. I wrote a book a couple years ago called Watch Your Mouth. Mm -hmm. And in the book, I realized a lot of things that we deal with in our life is based on our words. Right. In Genesis 2, 19, God gave Adam the ability to name things into existence. Right. He even named the woman Eve. Mm -hmm. So God has given us power with our words to create our atmosphere. The word husband means the atmosphere setter, the cultivator. So we have an ability, my brothers, to set the atmosphere, to set our relationship up with our words. And there's a higher weight and a higher responsibility on us to make sure we are using the proper words. Right. So we're going to dig in. Four things a husband shouldn't say to a wife or a okay. man shouldn't say to a woman. Number one. Number one. What is it now? What is it now? Yeah, it makes you feel like, you know, you're overly complaining and it can make someone feel insecure where they don't even want to come to you and communicate anything anymore. Because it's like, if you're going to get that response, then why even come to them? Because they really don't want to hear what you have to say. That's what it sounds like. You're just totally aggravated. You know, I, I have <laughs> had conversations with other people who, 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 who feel that sometimes women can be overwhelming with demand. Uh -huh. So like, okay, you, you, you handle this, and as soon as you handle that, there's another one, and right. another one. Right. So then they get to the place like, man, what's now? And you have to understand. Like you're never content. Correct. Okay. So I understand the thought process, mm -hmm. but there may be a better way to do it. Right. So instead of saying, okay, babe, what's on your mind? I'm mm -hmm. listening. So I'm saying, right. babe, what's on your mind? I'm listening. Or doing and this. Oh man, you're gonna do that on me. You're gonna do that to me. You're gonna do that to me. Like, I, hurry it up. I've done that. Say what you gotta say. I've done that to her before. It wasn't good. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, but I did that before. So, yeah. understand this. How often do you need to eat? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's it, you need to be fed. Right. How often do you take a bath? Mm -hmm. God willing. So, <laughs> You're always gonna need food. Mm -hmm. You're always gonna need emotional support. Right. You're always gonna need words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. So, my brothers and sisters, you have to understand that this is something that will happen all throughout your relationship. Right. So don't get frustrated with it. You have to learn. As one of my friends said, if you have a thoroughbred, don't claim, don't, don't, don't complain about the upkeep. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, because that's a part of it. Right, right. Number two, number two. Number two. You used to need, you used to have a nice body. I miss that. What happened, young kid? OMG. Your body used to be banging. Wow. Before you had them babies, girl, you you had a Coca-Cola bottle. Now you look like a pumpkin. <laughs> a pumpkin. Oh, babe, that would be crushing, right? Demolished. And the thing is, is most couples change. Their, their bodies change yeah. over time because we get older. Now, for a man to say this is a woman, understand on average, a woman is looking at 600 images a day of other women. On average, the average woman is looking at 600. Some of you right now streaming or watching or whatever it is, you're looking at 600 different images of bodies. Right. And oftentimes, even a fine, beautiful woman is still insecure because there's always somebody cuter, finer, taller, smoother, whiter teeth, longer eyes, longer lashes. It's always going to be something better. 
So if we feed into that and tell our, our women, you used to look fine. Listen, I understand her body is not what it was when she was 18. Right. My body isn't what it was when I was 18. I'm close, but I ain't what I used to be. And it's all good. Now, we have to appreciate our journey. Now, I am not condoning or saying you shouldn't take care of yourself. I'm not saying that. Right. I'm not saying you shouldn't be the best you should be. I'm not saying you shouldn't right. exercise. I'm not saying you should not diet. Right. But you have to put balance on it and say, okay, we have evolved and we've changed. Mm -hmm. You know, my chest used to sit a little bit higher. I used to do push-ups with her on my back. Now I might fall through the floor, but I still try. All I'm saying is we can't just demoralize them right. like that saying, man. And you're causing insecurities that may not have been there to be there now. And when you deal with body image, it affects not only the way they see themselves, but how they think you see them even in the bedroom. So it could, you know, it could be a negative aspect on your sexual um, life as well. So let's see, here's what it said. Find something to compliment about her body. Mm. Girl, your toes, Lord have mercy. Your toes, <laughs> oh, days. Your ankles, girl. Your ankles look so <laughs> cute. No. How about this, y'all? Men who sincerely mm -hmm. compliment their women right. every day right. have more sex. I knew it. I knew that. I knew that's what you're gonna say. Men who compliment they their women. feel good about themselves. Men who compliment their women every day have more sex. I'm gonna say that one more time. Man, girl, you look so fine. My God. Boy, oh boy. You giving them an example? Oh my God. Well, let's Heaven. cut the face Heaven off right mark, now. Girl. Cut it off right now. Look, girl, you look good. Your hair look extra long today. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Your hips are just, Lord have mercy. I just want to come together. Come together. I want to come into agreement with you in the name. All right. All so, right. A man who generally compliments his wife every day mm -hmm. has more sex. Right. So what do you say? You look gorgeous in that dress. I told her that yesterday. You did? Yes. I love that color on you. All right, number three. All right, number three. Fine, have it your way. You always will. Good Lord. Everything gotta be your way. Mm. Mm. That is not how we resolve an issue, people. Mm. Not how we resolve an issue. And it, it, it really, that's shutting down. Yes, it is. It's shutting down. It's like, okay. Yeah. You, you said that, okay, fine. You don't want to put your input yeah. in. You don't want I'm to done. work as a team. Tap out. Right. Instead, here's a better way to do it. Okay. What do you feel and what do you need? Mm, that's good. What do you feel and what do you need? And lastly, number four. Number four. Why do you always have to be so needy? Ooh. <laughs> Wow, and you know what? A lot of women look to their husbands to support them and to comfort them in times of need. So when you say stuff like this, it makes them want to go somewhere else to fulfill that need. Oh, boy. Because a woman wants to feel comfort, a woman wants to feel secure. That's the number one need of a woman is security. Yeah. And when you kind of put a crack in that, and say, why are you so needy? And it's gonna make her second guess wanting to come to you for that security. Hmm. So what are you gonna do? In reference to this, go back to what I just said. What do you feel and what do you need? Right. You want your wife to turn to you and not away from you. Right. And your words set the atmosphere for your world. That's good. So if you don't like the bed you're laying in, mm -hmm. change your words, because you're only laying in the bed that your words made. Mm, that's good. That's well, good, babe. I hope you guys were helped by this message. Right. Remember, love, laugh, laugh and, and learn. learn. God bless.